some call it a beast some call it overpowered some even call it a chapri motorcycle but in this review i am going to try and answer a very important question that is is the ktm rc 390 bs4 a motorcycle that is meant for you or is it not meant for you this is not going to be a traditional review in which we are going to talk about the specifications because yes they do matter but not very much what matters in the end is the rider experience and that is what i want to give you guys so without any further delay guys let's get right into the video so first let's talk about speed and power if speed and power is something that you want from your motorcycle the rc390 is a no brainer on a budget it has enough speed and enough power to keep you happy to give you some numbers it has 43 and a half uh, horsepower and uh, it also comes with enough torque that is comparable to a tata ace which is meant to pull and carry heavy things which gives you a very good idea as to how much power and speed you're actually going to get out of it but guys the story does not end over there what if you're someone who lives in the city who who has traffic all around him then the rc390 is not a motorcycle for you maybe because you will not be able to actually harness the power that it has to produce so it's like buying the latest apple flagship but just running whatsapp on it it just makes no sense but guys with that said let me tell you that the power is there at every rpm and wherever you want it the low end is good the mid range is punchy the top end is absolutely crisp and right up till 10 and a half thousand rpm you will absolutely have no complaints after which the motorcycle does start dropping in power and you have to shift with that said guys uh if you are going to take the motorcycle on the track it is the best machine on budget you can actually harness all the power on track you can go fast you can corner hard the bike is built in such a way it's meant to corner it has that aggressive riding position and it would be the best motorcycle for you on track so to sum it up guys yes it has speed yes it has power but you have to ask yourself will you be able to harness all of it and if yes go out buy it it will definitely put a smile on your face so from that guys let's move on to the looks in the looks department i just like to say one thing that it looks absolutely sharp and absolutely committed and as ktm says ready to race it is definitely ready to race with the new rc series coming in the market having looks that only a mother would love this one actually really looks very beautiful it looks sharp it has all the edges and in my opinion it is definitely a looker so if you also want a motorcycle that looks good and when you stand still on a red light will turn a few heads this motorcycle is definitely for you and don't forget once the light turns green you can actually zip past everyone and they'll be left in your smoke so that is another advantage of this motorcycle so guys the next category is going to be heating does the motorcycle heat yes does it heat a lot yes is it very hot very very hot almost as hot as amanda sunny but guys after some time i feel you do get used to it if you ride the motorcycle in traffic the radiator after some time is going to come on but that is not a con or that is nothing bad about the motorcycle the 373 uh, cc single produces such a lot of heat because of that high compression ratio that the radiator just comes on and it just does its job there's no con about it but definitely the motorcycle does heat a lot Also guys if you want to reduce the heating a little bit you can do something that I did which is change your coolant I use liquid moly on my motorcycle and that did make a little bit of a difference it's a little better definitely but if you want heating to be minimal and you have a lot of budget I suggest you go with engine ice engine ice if you put into your motorcycle i am telling you the radiator will hardly come on i have personally actually tried this so i'm recommending this to you also another thing about heating guys which is a little annoying is that when the motorcycle gets hot it actually throws all the heat on your legs and on your thighs so guys please do not ride this motorcycle wearing shorts because if you're going to do that you're going to have some tandoori legs for dinner also guys if you are in bumper to bumper traffic and it's literally bumper to bumper it is going to heat a lot it gets stupid hot so hot in fact that the person standing right beside you on the motorcycle can actually feel the heat from that let's move to average and fuel efficiency in my opinion guys this category does depend upon how you ride the motorcycle 
if you take this motorcycle on the highway expect somewhere between 33 to 35 kilometers per liter but if you're riding it in the city expect it around 15 to 20 kilometers per liter even if you baby it but it's simple guys you don't look at a concord uh, for its fuel economy you look at a concord for the speed so if fuel economy and average is something that you're actually concerned about if rising fuel prices is uh, is a buying factor for you when you buy a motorcycle please do not consider this motorcycle because i guarantee you it is going to drink fuel another big con with this is it just comes with a minuscule nine and a half liter fuel tank and coupled with the horrible or below par average that the motorcycle gives you this one has a serious drinking problem and the fuel station is going to be kind of your second home most of the time so from that guys let's move to the comfort or lag thereof so is it a very comfortable place to sit? Absolutely not. The motorcycle, what I feel guys KTM has done is that they have taken a plank of wood, painted it black, somehow done some magic on it and stuck it over there and called it a seat. That is what they have done. If you have an ass, which I bet you do, and your back end is not going to be comfortable on this motorcycle. For city riding guys, for uh, for going from one place to the other in about 30-35 minutes, it's not such a big pain. But if you want to do long distance touring, above 150 or 200 kilometers, it could be a problem. The aggressive riding position of this motorcycle, coupled with the horrible seat, can make it really hard for you to tour about can make it hard for you to tour so above 200 kilometers you're going to feel like just walking was much better than taking this motorcycle also guys uh, from that let's move to the pillion seat the pillion seat is present on this motorcycle and uh, it has one job and it does it very well its job is to make the pillion thankful that they're still alive and it perfectly does it. First of all, that is not a cowl on the motorcycle, it is a pillion seat. Secondly, it is on the first floor which means the pillion sits at an elevated height which makes it look like Vikram and Vetal are riding on the motorcycle. Also guys, the pillion seat is not very comfortable, obviously, and the grab handles that are integrated in the motorcycle, they actually do not give you a sense of comfort or anything like that. Let me tell you guys, this motorcycle is not a motorcycle meant to take your father or your mother as a pillion. Maximum you can do is take your girlfriend as a pillion. But um, whenever, whenever you get and whenever you get to your destination, I can't guarantee you that she's not going to be mad. From that, let's move on to the ergonomics. So the ergonomics of this motorcycle guys are super aggressive with the word super in bold and capital letters. Yes guys, you have to bend quite a lot to reach to that uh, clip on handlebar and the foot pegs are really very rear set and they have a very racy appeal and a racy position to them. But that is how it is guys, that is what this motorcycle is meant to do and that is what you get on it. A tip guys, some of the people say that uh, if you actually bend and sit in that position, you do get pain in your wrist. But there is a workaround for this. What you have to do is keep the grip on the handlebars with your hands very loose and actually grip the motorcycle with your thighs on the tank. What this does is it puts less pressure on your hands and on your wrist and because you hold it with your thighs, it's much better. So guys, yeah, thank me later for that. From that guys, let's move on to vibrations uh, so guys are there vibrations in this motorcycle yes there are vibrations in the motorcycle you do feel it on the foot pegs you do feel them on the handlebars but i do not feel it is a problem i do not feel the motorcycle is not refined or anything because these vibrations are a ktm engine character it is a character of an engine guys you are buying a motorcycle that is fast light and it's meant to go like a missile so please do not expect it to ride like a cruiser or a commuter because that's not what it will do also guys, at high speeds, when you feel these vibrations, they are not a lot, they are not massive, but they do make you feel good and as you get that uh, sense of speed and adrenaline, it is a good um, addition I feel. Also guys, the gearbox on this motorcycle is really slick, the handling is really good. Uh, finding neutral on this motorcycle is surprisingly easy, not as hard as the Bajaj Pulsar actually had. So guys, from that, let's move to the very important question about is this motorcycle meant for you or no? Let me answer that in very simple words, guys. If you are someone who loves to go fast, who loves speed, who loves power, this motorcycle is definitely meant for you. If you're someone who is going to sacrifice on comfort and has no social life because of which you have no one to sit as a pillion, you can definitely go out and buy this motorcycle. You will be happy as hell. 
Also, guys, if the rising fuel prices are not an issue for you and you can buy the motorcycle and ride it for as long as you want, fuel is not something that you think of, you can go ahead and buy this motorcycle. If you want something that will make you happy and put a smile on your face on those Saturdays and Sundays when you go for those rides, buy this motorcycle. This will absolutely do it. But guys, do not buy it as a commuter because it is not meant to do that. So guys, who should this, who should not buy this motorcycle? Well, simple guys, if you want to commute on this, I feel you should look someplace else. If you are not fine with the amount of heat it produces, uh, if you want to be comfortable, if you want to carry a pillion, if you actually have a social life, also if fuel prices is something that you look at before purchasing a motorcycle, this one is definitely a no-no for you. You should look someplace else. So I hope guys, you like what you see. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you dislike what you see, hit the dislike button twice. Also guys, I'm going to make such kind of videos. So please stay tuned for uh, such videos. And I do make motorsport and MotoGP content as well. So do check that out as well. With that guys, I will see you in my next video. Subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell if you haven't done that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.